typical, stereotypical sort of Vancouver uh, thing. We just, we just look outside. It's so fucking beautiful. We smoke weed, and that's my business partner's three-year-old. We start them early. Um, this is what we do. We don't really work hard in Vancouver. Um, that's what my Toronto friends tell me. Um, but I, I want to talk tonight about worry and uh, some personal things. Um, so this is sort of me bearing my soul. This is me on the flight here. Sometimes do you ever feel like you just have blind faith that someone knows how this thing's going to land? Right? And you hope to God they know what they're doing? Well, I own a business. I own a design firm. And a friend of mine and I were having a beer the other night, and he was asking me how things were going, and I was like, oh, the economy, and income, and blah, blah, blah. And he turned to me, and he was like, dude, give your head a shake. Look at all the things you're doing in your life that are being profitable. He said, what did you invest in last year? He leaned forward to me. What did you invest in? And I was like, um, RSPs, uh, mutual fund. Well, I don't know. Fuck, it's all sucks. It's all bad. He goes, no, dude. And he told me a story. A friend of his who does very well decided this year, instead of investing his money in the stock market or any other financial vehicles, he took $100,000, chose five people he believed had a career trajectory that he believed in. They were going to be superstars, but they needed a leg up. And he's going to spend all $100,000 on people. That's me. I've always been the shit beating grit in the middle here. I've always been the super, like, keener, jumping into things, on committees, getting stuff done, unafraid to, you know, yeah, I'll try that, whatever. So my friend Ryan's like, dude, think about the way you're living your life. Think about the things you do. You're totally a mo monster. You're like a machine on, on the internet. You, you blog all over. You've got 3,000 people following on Twitter. You have influence. You're a complete dipshit with no pride. You do silly things all the time. But as a result, you have made profit. You have social currency as a result. I hadn't thought of it like that. You're involved in politics, he says. You're involved in your community. You support local downtown east side. We have problems in Vancouver, as you probably know. You do here, too. And, I, you know, I'm engaged supporting some of these communities. I participate. I'm, inv I'm, 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 I'm active. And, and he's like, that's, that's, that's an investment. You're making an investment in your community. I've gone to a million conferences. I'm in Toronto right now because I went to Design Thinkers, which was awesome. Um, I've traveled the world because of my work um, and the things that I do. Of course, these things all cost me money. And he says, no, 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 no. They were investments. You made investments. You have social currency. You have networks. You have contacts around the world as a result of this. Hadn't thought of it that way. Not really, to be honest. I've, I've, I've chaired so, uh, design um, um, awards. I was instrumental in bringing Ecograda Design Week, the World Design Congress, to Vancouver. Uh, helped uh, generate a, an annual sustainability design conference in Vancouver, have chaired um, graphics, the National Canadian National Design Awards. My f design firm and, and some friends have, have supported since the beginning the Canstruction. Does anybody know what Canstruction is? A little bit. Supports the food bank. We participate in that. There's various charities. We do pro bono work. And Ryan reminds me, dude, these are actually not just feel-good, soft, hippie, Vancouver bullshit things. These are actually investments in people. Huh, hadn't thought of it that way. This is the obligatory dog of my cute, or shot of my cute dog that every Pechacucha presentation needs to have. He's blind, his Twitter account is Blind Charlie, and he has an Instagram account. They're all black photos. You can thank my wife for that. Back to today's story. Um, I've supported fundraising for the Documentary Film Festival. I've been um, on the leadership committee for the Computer Graphics Society in, in Vancouver. I've hosted bar camps with some, some friends. So all of this stuff, and this is, I, wa I want to make something very clear. This is not me telling you about how cool I am. This is my friend Ryan reminding me about all the things I did last year. And me sitting there over a beer going, shit, I hadn't thought of it that way. I teach. I lecture, I sit on the board of advisors for a couple of design programs in Vancouver. As a result, I meet amazing young people, amazing investments in people that end up working for me or bringing me clients later or being incredibly powerful allies. I co-host an annual event called Interesting Vancouver, which is just like this, and all we do is have an unconference one, one day a year where we get interesting people to talk about interesting things. Not work, not self-promotion, just passions, obsessions, and, and hobbies. It's super fun. You, is there one in Toronto? It's interesting Toronto. Maybe one of you should start one. Make an investment. I was the president of the largest chapter of the Graphic Designers of Canada, the BC chapter, for a term and ended up with 
This was my committee. This was uh, I, I was the leader of this this uh, executive, and I hadn't thought of that. I thought it was my duty. It was time to give back. It was you know I was doing what I. But actually, these, as he reminded me, are investments. The first ever in Canada before Toronto. What? Creative mornings, Vancouver. I'm the host. Uh, I present this once a month. I fly back tonight on the red eye, and I'm hosting this tomorrow morning with eight, to introduce Biff Naked as our speaker at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Amazing investment already now. So now I'm sort of I'm feeling it. I get what he's saying, but there's also like other things that he reminded me. I started with my business partner, who you're going to meet later, who's a lunatic. He's the guy on the right. We started f completely out of our own pocket, a food collective. And foodists.ca, I'm sorry about all the time you're going to waste on this website. And it's purely passion driven, it's, it's food, food nuts. That's all we do is food stuff, events, writing, videos. I speak at events. This is um, an event in Vancouver that's awesome called Rain City Chronicles. And it's purely just storytelling, people just telling, like, kind of like this. There's a lot of this stuff happening in Victoria, I mean, Vancouver. We get 1,500 people out to Pecha Kuchas in Vancouver. It's really popular. But I had never really thought of this until I had this conversation with Ryan, that these are actually really profitable endeavors. This is my website for my company. I don't show you this because any of your clients, but think about that. Maybe you are. Maybe the time I spend tonight doing this is an investment in you. Maybe the, maybe the, the efforts I make in all of these, these things add up to social currency, social capital, influence, expanded networks, staff, clients, so I want to end by asking you guys all one question. I want to go home thinking about one thing. What did you invest in last year? While we're thinking about the economy and our jobs and our careers, think about what else you've done with your time and your energy and your money. Thank you very much.